Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. This is the 2019 Ram 1500 that we're doing. It is a crew cab. We're going to be doing four speakers. We're also going to be doing the dash speakers up here. This model does have the small four inch LCD. I'm not sure if that makes a tremendous amount of difference on this vehicle, but it might. And we're also going to be doing the rear speakers and we're going to be doing subs. So we'll kind of show you the process of all this and what we kind of are doing in here. We usually do the 2018 and unders, so this will be kind of one of the first 2019s, but it should be pretty awesome when we get done. This is the front driver's side door panel that we're going to be doing today. And to start, we're going to take off these two pieces right here on the bottom and the part here on the top. And they have a small little part that's open on both of them where you can stick your pick tool right in. And when you stick that bad boy in there, you can just pull down and boom, comes right out. Same way with the top, but you want to be careful. There's a really heavy duty clip right here. So you just want to be real careful when you pull right here. You want to basically kind of be real gentle around this area. And then there's a big clip right here and the rest are all little snappy clips. So here's the back of it. Like I was saying right here in this corner, there's a big old plastic clip and the rest are all like little snappy clips to kind of hold it in. But that one right there is a pain in the butt. So you want to be careful because you don't want to break it because it'll crack it. And then your other one right here at the bottom, just normal little snappy clips. That's it. Nothing, nothing aggressive. Next, you want to start off with these two 10 millimeters. This 10 millimeter up here, what I recommend using a ratchet with the 10 millimeter socket on it to break them loose. This one up here I have found out is very, very, very tight. So I would definitely break them loose with this, get them down about 10 turns, and then you can go ahead and use your drill with the 10 millimeter on to take them out. Here's the three 10 millimeters. One, two, three. All those are taken out. Next, we're gonna start with, we're gonna work around this edge. I would probably start inside this inner edge because there's like a gap right here that you can pull on. Um, I would start there. And these are really hard clips to pull. So when you pull on this, be careful. They're super hard because if, especially if this is new, they're going to be real tough to pull. So just be real careful when you pull, you don't break everything. What you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to take your pliers and you're going to put them right here on the very tip. And you're going to squeeze the little prongs together to get this bad boy out. And then once you get that out, you need to remove this one harness right here, it unplugs, and then just pull this guy out right here. Basically, I clip those with a boom, and then pull that out. So all I'm doing is pressing those with the needle nose to pull them through, pull them out, and boom. Then that's out. And unplug this one, and we're ready to take the door panel. There's the back side right here. Now on the passenger side, I messed up and left a bunch of these in here, so I had to pull each one of these out. See how they're open here? Got stuck here. So I'm missing it in the door panel. There's what the back side of the door panel is. You don't want to miss those. You want to make sure you take them out of here and put them back into the door panel or otherwise you're going to have problems with it 
connecting to this. So here's your stock speaker. It's got four six millimeters. We're gonna take those out and take the stock speaker out. Here's the stock speaker. Dual cone, 15 watt, four ohm, base model speaker. I love how Chrysler always puts these little dots. Some of them have blue, some have green, some have shit brown. It's funny how they do these little dots. Must be the uh, tolerance of how shitty these things are. This thing is like a freaking paperweight. So yeah, now I see why the sound is absolutely terrible in these because these speakers are just junk in every RAM that I do. This is the speaker harness that we're gonna be using, a 72-6514. It's gonna plug into our Audio Dynamic Speaker 2000 series. And just look at the difference between factory. Here's what you're paying for. I mean, look at the difference. I mean, this magnet's quadruple the size of this. You got your built-in crossover. Here's the front of your speaker. You're going from a dual paper cone from the 80s, legitimately. We had these in, in the 80s and 90s, legitimately. And they were like Craco $5 speakers. Butyl rubber, just feel that. I mean, just amazing. Tweeter, I mean, cast. I mean, everything on this speaker is well built. Just look at the difference. Just a hundred times different speaker. And this speaker bolts right in with no problem. So here's your $2 speaker and $300 speaker. Big difference, big difference in speakers. Here's the plug plugged in to the, you know, the factory harness. Now we're just gonna go ahead and bolt the speaker up. Here's the speaker installed. Seals in here correctly. Everything bolts up like factory. Absolutely amazing speaker for this truck because this truck had the worst speakers and went to some of the best speakers. So. This will definitely improve sound quality. They work really well on low power and high power. I mean, he could put 100 RMS, no problem to these speakers and still be fine. Thank <laughs> you.